Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Motzkus, and today is our Sunday box opening. Hey, Hi. so we're just uh, laughing because um, for those of you who watch us all the time and know that we are a mother-daughter duo um, here in Central Washington, we've had a shop for 23 years and we do our box opening. Um, just to show you all of the new stuff that's come into the store, we do it um, twice a week and then we do a fabric chat and we do lots of tutorials and classes and things yeah. online. But um, but anyway, we were just giggling because Brianna I am was so telling her. Pregnancy brain is so bad. So pregnancy brain. <laughs> It's such a thing. So we were laughing because her husband um, got uh, clipped. Yeah. And so has his little recovery period going on. And we were talking about it. And she goes, yeah, he can just go ahead and just sit on his can of corn. <laughs> <laughs> Bag of corn. It's not a can. That, that, would, that would not be soothing. Because <laughs> he had to call me to remind me to talk to somebody about the kids. Like, why can't you do it? I'm actually at work. It. It's such a man. I minute. cannot sit there uh, and answer the same question. Yeah, he the same sir. thing. He, you know, on his lunch hour, <laughs> while he's sitting there with his feet up trying to not fall asleep. Yeah. Oh, mommy, it say, is for me. Hey, can you call them? You'll have to find the number. It's like, no. <laughs> I do not get a lunch break. So, so Robert, you guys know he went to the Seahawks game last week. So he, um, they broke down on the way home. They on blew. the pass, on, on the mountain pass, just before in the snow, just outside of um, North Bend. So some high quality family time for them, because <laughs> it was mom, dad, Robert, and his two sisters. So it was all all, five they all took the dad for his birthday to us. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all, Robert's the youngest, he's what, 31? Yeah, 30. 30, 32, and 35-year-old yeah. adults with their adult parents. <laughs> In the same <laughs> car. <laughs> for four hours? Yeah, it was, it was, it was funny. It's like, Robert, this can almost qualify as Christmas gifts for them. All this quality time with you. So all I got was uh, Christmas is going to be here too quickly <laughs> to be back together again. But... All that happened is he um, blew the hose off my heater core or something. So it was actually an easy fix, but they couldn't, like, get to Napa because the car was still too hot. Whatever. I don't know. Um, Jordan luckily went and rescued them, so they made it home before the pass closed. Everything was fine. Um, but then he's like, oh, you should call around the mechanic to see what it's going to cost you to get it fixed. Fix what? Well, the heater core two blind thing. So you're wanting me to call a mechanic <laughs> and say, my husband just called, <laughs> broke my car, and there's a heater core tube line thing needs to fix. What's it going to cost me? They're going to laugh me right off the phone. It's a tube line thing. It's two something. Maybe it goes to, a, I don't know, it, it made the car I don't even run. know what a heater core is. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, no. I know. I'm not. I'm not going to call. Uh -uh. I'm not going to talk to anyone. I, I would at least tonight when you're not at home because you're still waiting for someone to come rescue. <laughs> I'll text you some numbers. Or better yet, use your phone right now. Yeah. Step outside the car, make calls. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'm not, no. Yeah. I didn't call anybody. Like, nope. Mm -hmm. Turns out it was just a tube, so he's already had it fixed. She's fine. She's running again, but... Thank God I did not, you know, no. I'm not. I feel like, I feel like they set us up. Anytime we have to go into Ace Hardware, the lumber yard. Because they're going to ask follow-up questions. Oh, did it hurt anything else? I don't think so. Did your antifreeze grab away? I, I didn't drive it. I don't know. Mm. I'm ready to need a core with that? Did it hurt your blinker? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why? Well, my husband. Last time I went to the lumber yard, I was like, here, talk to him. I don't know. I don't even know. Don't know. Like they're gonna ask follow-up <laughs> you know, questions. When a man comes into the quilt shop, we do not treat them like that. They usually come like what? Two steps in. Yeah. And they stand there. And oh my wife called. Who's your wife? wife oh called. I got it. It's all ready. I got you. Or they I have their little they sometimes have little piece of paper. My wife sent me home with this. She's like, oh you know exactly what this is and they will not walk in. No. And we do not make fun of no. them. We're very yeah. nice to them. Because we know what you know how many like. blacks there are? <laughs> we got all kinds of black. Does she want flannel or cotton? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it for your underwear or not? What you wearing? Yeah. So, we understand out. what the reverse is, so yeah. <laughs> we are not mean when they come in. I feel like all those guys at the, I think they just wait for a wife to come in. Yeah. Yeah. No, and they got the checkbook. I know it. I don't know. <laughs> he's going to need this. Oh, he's going to need this tool. They didn't need the tool. Uh, they they, they need just know tool. he needed the tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, we're gonna get <sighs> the boxes. We got yes. quite a few boxes. I am suspecting that this is. Yes. Um, and uh, if you guys, some of you guys noticed <gasps> Wednesday, you looked. Surprise, Dunro surprise, surprise, surprise. Dunrove and Towels came back completely in. almost restocked. Yeah. Um, completely <laughs> almost. <laughs> for this I mean, there's maybe like one or two that maybe you're like, oh, yeah. good, I'm glad yeah, this one's in, but. The solid red, yeah. the solid green, the polka black dots. check, the yeah. polka dots. We're looking at them right now. There's a whole bunch. We went ahead and opened it up because there was a lot of people that were waiting for them. And so they're all online, ready to go. We don't have to. Oh, you did order them. I know. I was just whining to Brianna and I said, oh my gosh, how many times did I tell you to order these? And she said, I think I'm pretty did. sure I did. No, we're so out. I, I, um, you guys probably noticed that Thursday night for Thursday 12 Days of Christmas night. was, What's was this thing? Um, was a quilter select bundle, um, but you can of course buy it all individually too if you feel like a little oh, price yes, point. But that would be really perfect. So at this moment, really I don't right, know how many are left. What is all left? But this was like a crazy, crazy good deal because the mat alone is like sixty bucks. Um, this is sixty-five. It is spendy. I mean, I mean, it's a product that is a quality tool. Yeah. So you really are paying for the fact that this is all metal. It's not going to wear out. Um, um, this is super thick. It's double sided. Oh, you can't see the other side. <laughs> cardboard, it's on cardboard on the other side. Um, and then, and the non-slip ruler. There's a marking utensil. There's some patterns. It really is a really nice, nice, nice package. But um, and maybe you didn't need all of that stuff. But um, but it is a super good yeah. deal. But if not, this is the rotary cutter that mm -hmm. we use in all of our videos. Uh, it just taps to open. It's a little bit heavier. Um, it's a full metal, so you don't end up kind of boring out that center to make it kind of um, clicky. And mom really likes it because it's heavy yeah. and she doesn't have to push so hard with her arthritic thumbs. The rotary cutter just does the work for you. Oh good, you're okay. Um, the handle, the finally. ruler handle. So this is what ensures that the non-stick goodness on your ruler stays non-stick. Mm -hmm. The more you rub it back and forth on your mat to move it, to put it off your table, to whatever, all of that slowly kind of sands and abrades that um, it off. wears it off. So if you put one of your little handles on, you can just pick it up, oops, sorry, put it down, pick it up, put it down, so you're not rubbing it on your cutting mat. And then these, so um, these are spendy rotary cutters, but you know, I feel like it, it's way easier to use and it's worth it to yeah. have a really nice quality one. The other thing that we like to mention to people is that it doesn't matter if you have some leftover old full blades or Fisker blades, they will work in here, which is nice. Um, this is an alternative. This is like 20 bucks. What are they? $19 yeah. or something like that. So they come it's really going. nice. Yeah, they're super cute. So if you need something a little bit more affordable, that's an option too. Yeah. Okay, well that was right. a good box. So that notions and the Dunrovin towels. Yes, Dunrovin towels. Back in. Uh, we had to have some time to call a few people, let them know yes. that they were in. Um, the other thing too is now we are filming this earlier, but you are watching this on Sunday. Be watching because we're going to put the video together for uh, Winter Fest, which by the time you're watching this, it was yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. um, with Santa arriving at 11 and all of the presents, and we raised more than enough money to buy the presents. Um, there was somebody who put on there just the nicest little thing and said, I pray that all of the children get a present. All the they children do. were gonna get a present no matter what, yeah. but we raised plenty of money and they were nice. For, everything was brand new, yep. um, all wrapped, and then we even had enough money that we spent the rest of the money on um, uh, gloves and hats. We have a, f um, we, uh, I think that what was our 65% of our families in Soap Lake are at or below the poverty level. And so one thing that we worry a lot about are gloves and hats. And something we noticed last year. Some but kids didn't even have coats. Yeah. So if there's kids that are not covered, don't have hands on, whatever, we're going to have Mrs. Claus or any of her elves. <laughs> gloves, gloves on. on the <laughs> gloves on their hands. <laughs> we're going to make sure that they get to take home something. Whether that yeah. means they just left the whole house without them or they don't have any, yeah. they don't have to, you know. And we didn't want gloves and hats to be their present. We wanted them to have a toy. Yeah. And oftentimes there was a couple of toys. You'll see, we took some pictures of 
um, purchasing the toys and wrapping the toys and yeah. you can see what they are, but we didn't want to give them gloves and hats as a toy. We wanted that to be something extra in case they needed it. So Mrs. Claus was able to pass those out so it was a little present and they could take it and so... Stay um, warm. Yeah, super, super nice. So yes. anyway, we, um, we just That's can't amazing. thank you guys enough. It's just so nice because I don't know if you guys realize that last year you also funded um, all of the children mm -hmm. at Winterfest. Last year we had some auction items and some different things that we did. This year, how nice that all we had to do was ask for ask money. For <laughs> we just had to ask for money. You're so and nice. so, yeah, super, super nice. So, um, my goodness. So, anyway, we did, um, we do have uh, everybody who um, donated. Um, we put a little name uh, in your in the basket here, and um, we are having Santa draw. But by the time you're watching this, he has yeah, already done draw. that. And we'll so tell you Wednesday. You'll be able to see who won. And um, what we're doing is we're drawing for uh, Best of Soap Lake. So we're putting together a really cool basket with all of our favorite things. Yeah. From, from Best Soap of Soap Lake, so. that being said, Wednesday night's box opening was the Soap Lake, our favorite things in Soap Lake, Madhouse. 204 orders. Yeah. We sold out. It was amazing. And it I was know. It was so nice to call Andrew and, say, hey. and Bridget. Bridget got all teary eyed. She could not believe it. Could it not all. believe it. And, um,. <laughs> Yeah, and Andrew just super amazed, homemaking more. And so we've contacted all of them and we're asking about other Jeff's here! Woo, Jeff's here. The Jeff's our, he's our postmaster. He, <laughs> Tracy texted him and he's like, oh, I don't know. Amazon uh, semi just showed up. And he's like, but I'm going to try to make it with the van. So, yay. Yes. He's, he's uh, Tracy's Jeff. That yeah. Jeff. You know, the one that she texted the heart Heart to. Too. Yeah, that, oh. <laughs> I wonder how long ago that was. Uh, I don't know. It was so funny. It was about a year ago. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty That's good. Just running inside joke. Even when Sam comes over, have you seen Jeff today? <laughs> Just need to keep track of my wife here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Pretty funny. Oh, good. Um, that saves Tracy yeah, a trip. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right. Anyway, um, anyway, so we are, we will give you an update on Wednesday, but we are currently negotiating with our very thankful local yeah. merchants who are just so thankful that you um, appreciated their products and bought their products and you can trust us truly yeah. they we are 100% sincere about everything that we said Bridget's soap um, Andrew's vapor Bro, rub moisturizer. and moisturizer and his muscle sore muscle Yay! lotion Yay! <laughs> morning about the nice fireman because the nice fireman called because um, today is so nice because it's the fireman that pick up Santa from where he's parked his reindeer out in the yeah. farmer's field and um, bring him and so we were talking about sexy firemen but of course Tracy has a thing for postman. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, that's not what she said. But I don't know. I didn't know that I did. I just, I'm, I'm just, now she's just enlightened a little more. Figuring it out because yeah. she's got to have fire and postman for you. No, know, but you know, I told you the post guy in Brookville. Yeah. Tell yeah. the story. So that's when we lived in Pennsylvania and we moved to Dallasport, Washington. And um, his name was John J. John. So, anyway, <laughs> it's important. Uh, so he found me on Facebook so that he could send me some mail. He said, I think it looks important. And it was. It was uh, part of our escrow money from our house. Oh, that's pretty good. So that was pretty cool. And then we moved, we were in Dallasport. And um, then we moved here. And Jess, Jay, <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he has contacted me three times just recently, like, Two days ago, so yeah. to send me stuff that we need, uh -huh. and, you know, and I've been here for two long? and a half years. Two and a half years, uh, and so and now, now here Jeff is Jeff gets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about oh, uh, Came and picked up her mail and brought some boxes. Didn't even ask for him. What a oh, guy! She so didn't even have to text him a heart. <laughs> Good old sweet with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, all right. Anyway, all right. We digress so often. Let's open some boxes. Okay. Another box. Should we do these yeah, let's favorite ones or whatever? Is it free spirit? Uh, I don't know. It's yeah. Oh, I keep putting this here because people keep asking about the quilt hanging behind us, oh, the Christmas yeah, yeah. tree. It is O Tannenbaum. It's my pattern. You can find it. It's a printed pattern or a download. But I just want to show you that you can see the blocks on there. It's all very, very simple. The way that it's put together, there's just um, four patches, a four by four snowball block, a 60 degree triangle, half square triangle, a solid block. Uh, and a flying geese block and that's all that's in it so a lot of it we did this as a block of the month actually with kids with um pre-teens and uh one month we made we just cut our square blocks the next month we made half square triangles and trimmed them up the next block we made four patches and then we just lay them all out and you can kind of lay them all out however you want to and you sew it together super super simple pattern but people keep asking more information about and that, there's a uh, block fast. of the month classes on youtube for free so, of course, if there are oh. classes online, um, I think it's like what six month series, and ours this has this is online. This is one. Yeah, isn't it? you and Brittany did it. Navy background, I remember? Navy sparkly background. Yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a whole other class a year ago. See. Yeah. We did a different, and we have kits of it. We have this way, and the one that we did online was a dark, dark background, that's right? And that's silver, silver, more, um, yeah, yeah, more elegant. elegant. And I think the only kits we have left are the white version. But oh, we could probably put together a kit. Yeah, we can. We have some more. This is gorgeous. This, this I don't is, know what is blank. This is. What is this? What's it called? Mm. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Blank. Dancing. Oh, but look at that cute. one. I think it's oh. called Essence. Essence. Look how pretty this one is. Oh. Try it, Mom Valley. Oh my gosh, I love that one. A little pretty. echinacea. Flower. I like that one. I like the color of that okay, one. Okay, we're going to turn this off so we can take all the plastic off. This is like this is really cute. awesome. This is really, really nice. This is right at my alley. Both uh, Tracy and yeah. I were oogling it. Right? It's uh, our colors. It's just um, very restful, peaceful, elegant, floral. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. A little bit more modern colors. And I really like the, um, do they call this suede? I, guess I feel it's like not, it looks suede It looks to like me. suede, but it's Blank's version of it. So it's kind of almost canvassy, but... Yeah. It's really nice. It looks like super plush and super soft, yeah. but it's just good old cotton. It's just a tiny little line. Gosh, I love this one. And then, um, but super, super nice. And it's just a tiny little line. So you could do all kinds of things with this. This is one of those fabrics, I think, that each piece is really interesting and fun. So if you had like a stash buster or... Um, something that uh, a pattern that really kind you can of leave it shows like that, off okay. the fabrics. You can leave it down. I yeah. you saw it. Well, I mean, you can leave it I on the table. I can leave it down on the table. Okay. Yeah. I love anything dandelion pops. I do too. Dandelion pops are the mm -hmm. best. This is a beautiful teal piece. Yeah, and it's coming. Right it's coming through. Let me see if I can change. Oh, it's coming through denim blue. It's not. It's mm. teal. Can you tell that it's same as that? Um, we can tell it's a. Oh, no, it's the really. same as that. That yeah. color right there. We can see this color comes out super true. What you see here is true to color. This guy, yeah, mm. definitely matches this puff. Yeah, it's this color. This, this. It's this. a darker, almost greener shade of the background. Yeah. But yeah, it's, he comes out denim blue. He's not denim blue. Oh, no, he's not blue. No. Mm, hopefully, the little picture on the yeah. website. And this guy, he's ch like charcoal gray. Yeah. Beautiful. He looks blue. I don't know. Really? What These is three together, though, fantastic. If you yeah. think, oh, this looks like my daughter in law or whatever, um, beautiful yeah. three yard quilt right here. Yeah. And here, I'm actually going to add this one because here's a nice little light one. Yeah, little, super cute. Nice blue. Just a little toss with some little leaves in there. Oh, look at that one. That's the same. Oh, no. That was the one that I was holding up. Love that one. Love I love that one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Another one, just some simple little leaves. Yeah, look at it with that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with this one. Yeah, is it coming out the right color? No? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. It's that color. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. Yeah, isn't that weird? This one. 
beautiful <laughs> with this one. Love it. This one is my favorite. Yeah, that's gonna be the first one to go. Mm. Little. I love that one. I do too. And I can't tell if that is just a little texture or it's supposed to be like script. You know, it it's just something. very subtle. It's just, oh, I would just do a whole cloth quilt out of that. And then here's just a nice little sandy, I don't know what we call it, camel? Is that Probably what you would call yeah. that? Yeah. No pre-cuts on this. I don't know that Blank no. does that. But I think we um, should cut uh, we could do some one-yard bundles. One-yard bundles. I would do one-yard bundles. Yeah. I think that's good because I think these solids, you oh, need a one-yard anyway. And then even all of these, if you're going to do something where you're going to kind of show off this fabric, one yard would be if you were going to do a one-yard quilt. An apron. I mean a three-yard quilt. A three-yard <laughs> one-yard quilt. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that looks like. <laughs> a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have one yard one for the front, one yard for the back. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yes. Anyway, right, you could do some, uh, yeah, you could do a couple yeah. of things. Yeah, we'll do some one-yard bundles for you. Then that way you don't have to pick and choose which ones you want. So that'll be really nice. Oh. Here, let me lift this for you. I don't know um, which one to do. Those I opened because these were... Um, I'm hoping that these go with that box because these were in the box with <gasps> these were in the box with the um, towels. Yeah. So um, I'm assuming there's ballerinas. Oh, I'm assuming it goes with that. Oh, I don't know. Does it? Oh, I mean the ballerinas. Maybe it's are just cute. maybe it's just some solids or something. Yeah, it is. Ballerinas <gasps> are super cute. Oh. Oh. Look at this. I wonder about oh Hesley and Emma. Do you think they're ballerinas? Are you ballerinas? I used to be a ballerina. Brianna was totally a ballerina. Are your costumes still itchy? That's what I want to know. Mm. I was tortured with itchy Tortured. tutus and oh. Mm -hmm. Are they still itchy, girls? If you're mm. if you're ballerinas, mm. or if you know a ballerina. Mm -hmm. All right, some patterns. Some patterns. And more patterns. This is a whole lot of paint. Okay, well, and purple. Fantastic. You got three purples, two pinks, and a white. All right, we're gonna take off some cute. plastic. So cute, super, super cute. Okay, it's called Little Ballerinas. Little Ballerinas. Cute, teeny tiny, six pieces plus a block. Yeah. Whether you're a purple girl or a pink girl. Yeah. Or everything. Yeah. Adorable. It's just adorable. Yeah, so we won't do any half yards or full yards. Just get what you want and we'll show you Fabulous our pillowcase it options. Yeah, it's really, really cute. It's just one of those things that's just plain adorable. So you can see that there is the purple version here. We'll show you up close. There's the pink version here. And let me show you. And we're just going to sell this by the yard because the repeat really if you see this the repeat is right here so you get two rows that are going to be 7 14 and then it repeats again so if we do it by the yard we'll end up cutting it right here so we don't obliterate anything but you'll get quite a few of them which is kind of fun because in a yard it's already nice it already has this little sashing around it and then all you have to do is put a couple borders on it so if you get a yard and a half or whatever you'd like it could make it. a yard and a half would be really nice anyway they're adorable little cute little ballerinas oh, yes. are they the same kind of on the other side oh no they're oh yeah same same idea all right super cute so there's that cute. and then let's look up close so this is just the toss it is not directional it's the same as what was on the squares oh Oh, Look at that! Oh. That looks like Harper's Kitty! Yeah. She's the um, oh. Chester cat from yeah. Alice in Wonderland. These That's are so adorable. Harper. That's really cute. Super cute. So this one has, I don't know if you can, it goes, they, I guess, put it with the pink one, but this is a white, a clear white background. And then this is kind of a lavender background, same print lavender background and then these are their little hearts right yeah yeah these are little oh yeah they're sweet sweet little hearts I don't know if you can see that so we've just got a lavender and a purple and then we have a pale pink and a bright pink and that's it 
And Cute. Brianna, I think you're right. Gosh, you could make some adorable pillowcases. Or the other thing that's really nice, we keep talking, gosh, you've just been so busy. Uh, but uh, we want to do some more really quick projects for you because mm -hmm. another thing that we keep making that is a really popular gift is the um, book pillow. So it's I just a pillow, the pillow. Mm -hmm. that just sits on your bed and has the little book tucked in there. You can put your little reading light in there and you just leave it on your bed so when you go to bed it's all kind of right mm -hmm. there and um, this would be cute for that. So yeah, we'll absolutely. figure it out next week to find a time just to show you really fast how to make that. It's a super, yeah. super fast project. But the, ones the key on to the it list. is that... Yeah. Are just super, super slick. Yeah, yeah, really, really fast. And it's the box bottom is what makes it perfect. Mm -hmm. So you have to mm -hmm. do it that way. But anyway, all right. So this is cute, and this is cute. called one more time, little, little ballerinas. Ballerina. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Really, really cute. Um, if you do, um, I'll link below, and I'll also put in um, with this category the free pillowcase pattern that we have. Oh, yeah. um, but all you need is a yard of the main piece of your pillow. You've got the cuff. Um, you could do, you only need really a third of a yard of that. So little bits, not very much. Now, the other thing that was in that box, I'm not sure why we we're thinking, we love Megs and me as a designer. Um, she has the coolest artwork and it's a mother and two daughters yeah. and they're just adorable. They're fabulous. We really like them. So um, the patterns came separately. My guess is maybe the fabric is coming, but um, the patterns are cute, 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 cute. So this one is called Honey. And so you can see it's really, it's just some squares and there's a little bear and he's just applique over the top of it. But I'm going to show you the back of it because see these little bears right here? It comes with all three of those bears. So you can cute. decide, isn't that? Sweet. So you can decide if the bear is fishing or he's holding a balloon or he's holding a flower. He's I know. Adorable. And, or there's this guy. So there's four. Did I say three? Four. There are four options of little bear. Cute. And it's just squares. And again, this is that whole thing. If you found a line of fabric, it's like, gosh, I really like that, but what am I going to do? Oh my gosh. Cut it into squares and just put, put a neutral sashing all the way around it. Just sash your blocks. Yeah. That is adorable. And if you feel like and it's then, too plain for who you're giving it to, pop on some applique. Pop on a little bear. It's so dang smart. She does this a lot. We love all of her patterns. Yeah, she does do. this a lot where she did all of this work drawing all of the artwork for the for the fabrics and so this way the fabrics can really show yeah. up. So that's really, really smart. Because if you liked the line that we just showed you, what was that yeah. one called again? Mm, so long Essence. Ago. Essence. 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 You could do that and it could be the little bear holding look a at daisy. that flower. That's the exact flower. <gasps> yeah. Right? Yeah. So cute. Yeah. This is just a really cute pattern. And uh, we don't know, again, when we <laughs> order fabric, it comes like six months later. I feel fairly certain that we probably did order this, but um, what you could do is if you're looking for something extremely similar, this is not her, this is actually a Moda. Because I think the last line that we might still have of hers is, I don't remember where that blue, oh, I think we're out of that blue one. Oh, I don't even know. Okay, we're not even gonna guess. No, we love her stuff. <laughs> but um, but this one is called Boudoir by um, Basic Gray, and there's mm -hmm. some of this left, and it has some of these nice grays and blacks and little mustards, mm -hmm. you know, colors in it. So if you kind of like that look, that could be an option if you don't want to wait or you don't have anything else. And then oh my gosh, another one that's really that cute one. is lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! Look how I know. <laughs> look how cute her outfit that is. That is super are. cute. It just takes twelve fat quarters. Yeah. And so she just has those neutral colors, and then she has um, has some little big uh, big stitch in there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just a whole bunch of just cute. mixed and matched. Yeah. Lions and tigers and bears. Love it. Super cute. Super love it. Yeah. Really cute. And it's all fusible applique. We have a couple yeah. videos we've done fusible applique with. Super mm -hmm. beginner friendly. Mm -hmm. um, and um, this and one's it's a good thing for a kid to do because all you're doing is you're laying your fusible web tracing. over the pattern, tracing it with a pencil, ironing it to the back of the fabric, cutting okay. it out with scissors. And kids the, love to trace, love to cut. Best thing about the bears, lions, tigers is if their line gets a little wobbly 
I mean, it, it won't matter because it's, it's, it's still an animal. Yeah. yeah. And this one is such big animals, really, in scale, mm -hmm. that if you feel like, oh, I'm not stitching that down with the sewing machine, one, it'd be very easy to stitch it down with the sewing machine. Two, your long arm quilter or a friend of yours who's a long arm quilter would not Could be. Could touch that. Yeah. Edge. Would not be. Um, What's the word? Intimidated. No. By these si these shapes. Mm -mm. So see, it's and it's a full size. Oh, you probably can't see that. Can they see it? Mm. Probably not. So it's a you full size that? pattern. Full size. Yeah. And it's already reversed. It's um. And then ready she to trace. gives you not just the tracing pieces, but then also the layering. The layout. So that you can see exactly. You put this piece down, then that on top, then that on top. So super cool. She has them all. Yeah. You don't again. have to go to a Xerox shop and. Um, get anything enlarged or anything crazy. Mm -hmm. no. Super cool. Um, really that being cute. said about applique, you guys may have seen Thursday afternoon, the last video for our sunshine block of the month, um, went out. So it was just a three part series. We talked about block construction. We did fusible applique chit chat. And then this last one was just how to put it all together, talked about borders for a hot second and then showed you how to miter. So that one did go out. Um, if you want to take a look at that one, but Hmm. That just made me think of if you Applique didn't get a ding. Yeah, that one's okay. going on. All right, and then do you want to show them those? I feel like there might be things that they might come it. with something. So oh, there's three them? little tiny tonals, but why would we get just three of them? Well, did we? They're just think all that the we same color. They were beautiful, and we wanted some background. Great job. They're all the same print. What's the name of it? Tiny tonals. It's all the exact same print in three colors. We, I mean, we could. Worst case We're scenario, show we show them you. the rest of them. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the tiny total fabric comes and there's no background fabric yeah, for no it. Bees. Well, I'm sorry. If you bought it, you have it, and this is what goes with it. <laughs> I don't know. I I opened this when when the towels, the towels came. came. I don't know. I'm going to go back here real fast just to see if they can see the texture or okay. the little print on it. Because this one would probably be the easiest one to the see. The gray, yeah. Can you see that? It Ooh, is way. just yeah. this beautiful um, tone on tone. And so there's a little butterfly here and a little bee here. And they're going, this one is this way, this one is this way. So it's really not <coughs> entirely directional. And so it's this nice soft gray and then it's kind of this parchment-y color. It's the exact same print. Can you tell that? Mm -hmm. Just a little different color. Really nice for just a subtle little background. Look at it with this. Ooh, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I and feel like that one would also go really well this with one would also. Oh, sure it would. Oh, yeah, it would. So, yeah, you, we can't see that one, but that's white on white. You can't tell the pattern, but I, if I tip it, I can see that this is white on white. It's the exact pattern as these, so it's a little B. So those are tiny tonals. I'm just going to put those on the color wall for now. Um, maybe we'll surprise Move ourselves. them out if we find yeah. <laughs> what it goes with. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's do, um, there's a QT box back there. Let's do the QT box. Box? Okay. Oh, Ooh, a chameleon. Oh. oh, that's a pregnant one. <laughs> See, she's having babies too. <laughs> it's true. She's like a new one. Ooh, good tone of pieces. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. All right, look at Dang. that one. Oh, I love oh. that. Look at that. You're pretty awesome. Mm. Okay, we're okay. going to keep digging. Some paper off. This one is called Colorful Chameleons. This is and really awesome. That is exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. It's cool. It is cool. It has kind of a Mexican flair to it, don't you think? It kind of does. Well, I, I mean, this is where I see these big, cool, colored chameleons. And well, yeah. Well, Iguanas. that's true. Iguanas. They're yeah. pretty awesome. So the panel is kind of cool. And I like it. That I like the shape some, of it. Yeah. Yeah, that there's different shapes. So if you're doing a, um, a crackers, I think is a really good option for this, or a stars and stripes, you know, you would cut this the same. You wouldn't have to, I mean, I would still cut my square, square mm -hmm. so it's my circle on my square. Yeah. So it's just going to give it a little different look to it. it so would, for stars and stripes, you would need two panels. It would also make a cool crumb cake, too. 
Oh, it absolutely. I think would. with the different shapes. I mean, all of your rectangles will kind of all be the same. But once you see all of the coordinating pieces, uh -huh. it would just be, I think, really cool. And what's kind of fun is that you'll see that the coordinating pieces are these background colors, yeah. which is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's really pretty awesome. Neat. It is pretty cool. Yeah. So there's the panel. And then there's, so you can do a little pan across so they can kind of see the colors. It's very nice. It's really very bright, but not garish bright. Really nice tonals, and oh, that's my favorite piece right there. That piece, it's still kind of by the... Uh, ballerinas? Yeah, it goes with the ballerinas, too. <laughs> it's funny. All right, so let's see. So this is, gosh, it's just really... Gosh, can you see up close? See, it looks like the a tapestry piece. That. Well, it's really, it's just like little dots. It's really a cool aesthetic. Really artsy, fartsy, bright, nice. So this one is the red one and this one is the blue one. I just love the artwork there. Again, it just has that South American, Mexican kind of feel to it. And then the iguanas, an iguana toss. And that's in three different colors. It's in this really cool with the dark blue background. There's also the light blue background. They really, they almost blend into the light run. Mm -hmm. And then the two blues. This one was on the background of one of the panel pieces. It's a little bit different from this background. This is just kind of a splatter, but this has this fun little um, vine, I Probably guess, true, is kind yeah. of what it is. Yeah. And then, oh, this piece. I think those are going to be the first right. to go. Yeah, with I those think so stripey too. I would just have this anyway. I mean, if you are, if you like, oh, who's the artist that I like so well? Dean Russo. Dean Russo. Oh, sure. He's one of them. Dean Russo. <laughs> this would totally go with the Dean Russo prints. I think it's a good stash piece. One. Yeah. If you're, this is not yeah, really your awesome. thing, but yeah. I think these are really good stash pieces yeah. for sure. Yeah, I like that one. And then here's the green. Yeah, look at it with the green. This is Super the same cool. as this. Just the lime green, love that one. Here is the lime green iguanas. And here's the lime green flowers. There you can really see. Gosh, look at that with that. Really awesome. And then these tonal pieces are really cool. So this is, um, do they say what? It's just called color blenders. Yeah, no, it's just gonna be yellow, orange, and what is that? Peach? Yellow, orange, and I would say peach. Yeah. And the peach might not seem right, but it is. See, look. Yeah. You could really do whatever you would like. They're all exactly right. And then, ah, oh, this one. I don't know why it got stuck down at the bottom, but look at that. Super cool. Yeah. Really nice. All right, super small. And I don't know, I don't think we need to cut one yards or half yards of this, do you um, think? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think that you can kind of pick and choose what you want. It just is really awesome. You might want some bigger pieces if you're going to do um, some larger things or... Yeah. I guess we could do some fat quarter bundles. Do we want to do that in case they want to do like a crumb oh, cake? That's what oh, they're that's gonna a need. good idea. We'll do some yeah, fat quarter bundles. Yeah, we can do fat bundles. bundles. We'll put everybody so into one, a fat two, quarter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. So we'll do 13. Yeah, fat, fat quarter quarters. And yeah, not a ton of them, but we'll do enough that, yeah, if you want to do a crumb cake, that's yeah. all you would need is a fat quarter bundle and a panel. Yeah. You could also do a um, beeline for baby. If you yeah. feel like, oh, that's really cute, but I want to make an actual quilt out of it, maybe not a yeah. cake, you could definitely be line this up for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah. Good idea. I like it. All cute. right. So let's see. I think we're good, right? Those no, are all empty, of it. Empty, yeah, empty. we're so we have, up. We're starting to cut up. So we've got <laughs> Dunroven towels. Yes. Rotary cutters. Mm -hmm. What else was in that box? And keep in mind, tonight at five, there is no twelve days of Christmas. Right, not so on Sundays. No Sunday, no Sunday box. off. Yeah. Sunday yeah. off of twelve days. Tomorrow at five, we will have another one. So keep yeah. that in mind tonight. Turn the alarm off. Relax. Calm. It's all good. Yeah. Um, ballerinas. Ballerinas. What was this one? Uh, essence. 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 essence? I think that's what it's called. It is. It's Essencia. What does that say? 
Oh, essence of peace. Oh, <laughs> essence of peace. Essence of peace. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then our colorful chameleons. Colorful chameleons. Gosh, yeah. I feel like we opened so many more boxes. Mm -hmm. I guess well, we did. There's three boxes. And for then this we line. did do. Oh, and then some the little tiny tonals. Yeah. Um, just in the color wall section. Yeah. Again, maybe we'll see something else of this, but I don't know. My, yeah, it's a really good background. And mm -hmm. then um, the patterns by Meg Zimmy. Where are you oh, going to put yeah. those? Um, I'm just going to put them in the pattern section, but I'll link them below individually. Okay. So you can. And I think sometimes those. it's hard when you're watching YouTube on the television to look it up. Yeah. The links, it's not the same. So you really are going to have to get on your phone or on the computer to. Because I think the link is easier. Or if you type in, do you write it down? I do write name? it in. And if you type in what's below that, or even the first word. So if you type in essence of or essence the. A whole lot of essence will pop up, but again, that's mm -hmm. gonna be its own category, so just go straight to what's new. Mm -hmm. um, tiny tonals again, if you type in tiny tonals, these three will be the first thing to pop up. Yeah. Um, lions in the at and the and symbol will bring up that pattern. So again, I feel like our search engine for our website, um, less is more. The less yeah. you, it, is it abbreviated? Is there apostrophe s? Yes. Who knows what I was thinking that day. You never, or if she spelled it right. <laughs> or if I spelled it right. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> um, so less is more on our, I feel like, our search head. If you know you're wanting to look up, gosh, I don't even know anything. Just do the first word and let the website think about what you're meant afterwards. Yeah. And you're probably going to get a, get a little more what you're looking for. Yeah. All right. We have some cutting to do. Yeah. Some All right. to cut. Have a fabulous day. Stay yeah. warm. And we'll see. Oh, or oh, go to the oh. beach. Critical thing coming up, Kate's birthday party. Yes. The so Wednesday, Thursday. Yes. Wednesday. Wednesday. The so we did a quick little reminder in um, on yeah in our newsletter, and we did a little reminder that went out on Friday to remind you guys um, just to go ahead and get those in, and we're putting all of those together. And um, we'll put that up. It'll be kind of a virtual quilt show. Mm -hmm. And we are actually going to have some prizes. And we'll kind of show you and then all of that. I am going to do, because I've gotten a lot of pictures that are just completed quilts that are hanging or whatever. And I've also got quite a few that are works in progress. Like someone has all these blocks that are really cute but needs some sashians and borders. At the very end of the quilt show, I'm going to do the works in progress show. Yeah. So if you're just really excited about what you're doing, um, yeah. and you want to show it, send those anyways, because at the very end of the show, I'm going to do a work in progress show, yeah. so that I, you guys should be... Just to see yeah. everything. I think it is really It's fun to see it all, so. and you never know who's yeah. looking at it, who yeah. might think that that is what they want to do. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, watch for that. That'll be kind of fun, and, and yeah. um, you still have a little bit of time to get those to us, so do that today. Instead Email of, us. Instead of waiting for... Um, the 12 days of Christmas tonight, find that picture, email us the picture, yep. email it to Brianna at fabricpatch.net or info at fabricpatch.net. And put your subject line as CAFE yeah. show or CAFE yeah. birthday. Put CAFE in there somewhere, then I don't lose it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll watch for that on the 7th. This is birthday. Yeah. All right. Exciting. All right, you guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.